It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogono Art family. Today, we're going to be speaking about training the mind's eye when it comes to drawing. And so, training the mind's eye is an act of visualizing what you're about to draw before you put you, before you draw them. Before you put the the pencil to paper. Having a a visualized understanding about what you're going to draw and clearly seeing it in your mind. And so the question is, how do we train our mind's eye? Usually at a first level, we can visualize like a one dimensional surface, such as a, a circle or a square. We can visualize these simple things in our minds. And so to take it to the next level, uh, we can start to train ourselves to visualize spheres and, and, and squares by simply uh, practicing it through, uh, through paper. Practice drawing different, uh, different, different angles of the uh, of the of the square of the uh, of the cube, and also practice drawing uh, different angles of the sphere. And how do you practice drawing different angles of the sphere? Is get in tune with understanding the axis point. Understand the x and y axis point, and this can help you to train yourself to rotate it. Because to to understand drawing, drawing is the it gives the illusion of complexity, but at its core, it's very simplistic. And so, what I mean by that is, whenever you're drawing, we we always set our our fundamentals. We always set a cylinder or a square or a a sphere or a cube. We construct our objects using these simplistic shapes, and then we add on the detail because it becomes a lot easier once you have the simplistic foundation laid out for you. And so what I feel works best, best for me when it comes to uh, visualizing shapes, uh, to training yourself to visualize shapes, is uh, go into a very deep meditative state while putting uh, 4 3 2 hertz music in. Just music that doesn't cause your mind to think too much, that really just soothes your mind. Like, uh, or any kind of uh, sleep based music, sleep based by neural beast beat music, just put that on in the background while you think so that you can like visualize and focus and hone in on, on the shape movements as well. So you may visualize, you know, different camera angles, different, uh, you know, going up and down and whatnot. And it's also important to physically practice as well as you're also training your visual visualization you know understand the the technicalities of what's going on when you understand the technicalities of what's happening your brain being the logic is going to have a much more easier time you know digesting the information because it's logical at least for for the left brain function when you understand the technicalities such as you know you know the the vanishing line or or understanding that the the line goes gets uh gets shorter as it goes away from you and it gets uh much more intense as it comes toward towards you when you're, when you're actually practicing this putting practice to paper you'll have a much more easier time you know visualizing and so understand uh perspective understand 2d perspective you know, uh, and 3D perspective. Actually, practice these, uh, practice these techniques, and practice. And as you practice these techniques, also practice visualizing them, so that it becomes a lot, a lot easier. Because practicing the technicalities, understanding how certain things work, is going to aid your your left your left brain hemisphere, the the left function of your brain, which deals with reasoning and logic and analytical thought. And then as you continue to branch out and improve, you can switch back to the, the right brain hemisphere, which is are, are about uh, creativity, you know, intuition, insight, imagination, etc., etc. You know, a, a great a great artist or a great alchemist, you know, they fuse the two the two hemispheres, the right and the left brain together. 
to create something wonderful. Art isn't just about the, the right brain hemisphere. And another tip I have for you guys is to not only practice and to not only visualize, but also to also um, put on some subconscious reinforcements. You know, paste on your wall uh, so something about something regarding anatomy. You know, paste on your wall notes so that you're constantly reminded about you know certain anatomy topics you know because it's going to get downloaded into your subconscious mind whether you know it or not so you know paste on your wall certain uh, certain uh, notes so that you can uh, remember and also as you post on your wall you want to also uh reinforce what you've learned consciously okay so it's working subconsciously but you also want to reinforce what you've learned consciously so to do that is you know simply read your notes look at your notes you know every single day because sometimes we we tend to forget what we've learned if we've watched a, a a art tutorial video we tend to forget what we've learned or like you know maybe a week later we forget what happened so it's good to have constant notes on your wall to to keep priming yourself to remind you about what's going on and you also as you're consciously reading your notes you don't 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 try to like memorize them you don't have to memorize them it's gonna you're gonna naturally memorize it if you keep doing it every day you know so so you don't need to like try very hard to memorize it you know if you if the first day you 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 haven't recalled what you've read in your notes don't worry about it just keep on reading it and eventually naturally it's going to come to your mind the more repetition repetition makes things easier you know don't 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 try so hard don't 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 force your brain to do these things you know just just the brain love loves uh repetition the logical brain loves re repetition so just keep on keep on showing it the information and eventually it's going to get tired of you showing it the information and then you're gonna you're gonna understand it you know you know what i'm saying so So don't try to cram in your memorization as if you're studying for a, a a final. You know, we're not studying for finals. We're not studying for exams. We're naturally memorizing these things so that it becomes a lot easier for us. And as we naturally memorize it, it becomes more intuitive. So what I'm saying is as you're reading your notes, you know, don't don't try so hard. Read it as if you're reading a text message from a friend. Okay? And you know how you read a text message from a friend and then you forget like uh, five five hours later or ten hours later or a, a day later about what they've exactly said, you know? However, if you, if you constantly read that text message from a friend, you know, not caring about memorizing it, but every single day, every morning, you know, eventually it's gonna, it's gonna get downloaded into your mind. So, yeah. And so that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell, tell me what you think about this video. Uh, the, if this uh, this tra mind training eye advice has, has helped you. So, yeah. Uh, peace. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to go down below and hit the red subscribe button. And as well, hit the bell button next, next to it to get notified for when you, uh, I upload new videos. And down below in, in the description, I have a Discord chat, and within this Discord chat, I provide drawing references that I found all around the internet in my own personal notes. And you can also share artwork with other members of the Ogana Art family. And so, peace.